Welcome to Wax Post Reviews and in this video we're looking at the Jazzbar SkyDrive 110 Cricket Shoe. This is their rubber spike version of the Jazzbar SkyDrive 117 Spike Shoe. So talking about this brand first, if you haven't heard about this, this brand is a new brand from England with a lot of international cricketers from Pakistan and Sri Lanka using these. Uh, this also has a very nice clean aesthetic to these. They come in different colors as well so you can mix and match as per your liking. The brand's name means passion and you can definitely see the passion that's gone into making one of these sets of shoes. Now talking about the functionality, here at the base you see a really well laid out structure of these rubber grids. These rubber studs are nice and deep so they dig into the hardware case really well giving you a lot of grip and traction to play with. They let you run a lot more freely as well. Here between here at the midfoot you see a similar sort of arch support like you see on the Adidas SL22 with the Adidas torsion that they use. So it's a nice arch support there giving you a lot more freedom and a lot more comfort to play with as well. At the back of the shoe, you see the rubber extending like you see on the Adidas SL22. So you can definitely see some inspiration that they've drawn from the other shoe there. The midsole on the shoe is similar to the, the spike shoe that they have. It's nice and soft and responsive, probably a little more dense. So what that density does is it absorbs all that shock when you land on the hard wickets. Hard wickets are notorious for hurting your heels and your ankles a lot because they're so hard and uh, they do not have enough give as a turf wicket. So you see a lot of shock that flows through the shoe. This absorbs that really well, protecting your uh, heel, your ankle really well. So if you're a pace bowler stomping a foot hard on the uh, synthetic wickets, this gives you a lot of cushioning to deal with. Talking about the upper of the shoe, similar to the spike version, they use a 3D crafted synthetic upper. It's nice and lightweight with all these ventilation slots on the outside. So that lets the shoe breathe really well. You still get a thermofix heel cage here giving you a lot of really good breathability. It's a highly durable mesh, so that helps with the ventilation across the shoe and also has an antibacterial uh, sheath inside so that uh, stops all the odor from sinking into your shoe. It takes away all that ridiculous smell that you see that sits into one of your cricket spikes. It also has an airflow insock. Now it's the similar sort of insock that clips really hard to your heel, stopping it from rolling over, giving you a lot of support to deal with. And when you land hard on the ground, doesn't let it roll over, lets you play with more freedom. Because of that airflow thing, it's much softer as well. So it's more comfortable while it's clipping your heel really tight. So it's a good thing on this shoe that they've done. Talking about the toe of the shoe, you see the rubber from the base blending in here at the toe to protect you against Yorkers. And it still uses the proprietary ProGuard leather sheath. Ideal for batters because it doesn't give you a black toe and doesn't rip the shoe apart either. And also pretty hard, so that protects you more against Yorkers, letting you play more freely. It's also nice and hard, one of the hardest toes I've seen in the market for a rubber spike. So definitely a big bonus there. It's still using a soft tongue here, which is mesh lined. It's nice and comfortable, nice and soft, as you see on a lot of other cricket shoes. So there's not a lot to talk about there. All in all, I think this shoe is a pretty good value for money. For a decent pair of rubber spikes, you get a lot of functionality on this that you see with a lot of top of the line cricket spikes. So this is definitely something I would recommend. If you're looking to get this shoe, uh, you can jump onto our website or walk into one of our stores. Thank you.